this is Afflicto Gaming here. Right now we are doing a tutorial on how to become a cop and how the job works exactly and what are the benefits. So right now we're in front of the police station. Uh, street seems to be clear. We'll go ahead and cross. So as you walk in you're going to notice you have a little lobby right here. You're going to enter in. There's a receptionist. You're going to talk to her. You have an exam right here. I'd say four out of five question exam. If you get four out of five, you get accepted. If you get less than four out of five, then you're a little screwed. But you can always try again no matter how many times you fail. So you got five questions here. And we're going to go ahead and answer them just to get it through. But we're going to do wrong answers real quick and just show you so after you you know give your answers you're also going to check up here see if you have any warrants this is your ID this is your availability if the officer position is available you're going to click submit if you think your answers are correct and no I was wrong that's a shame I just failed the exam but we can try again we're going to try again and I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions correctly real quick we'll go ahead and get approved so now that I've answered the exam correct we've just been approved so now that we've been approved we're gonna come on back here skip on pass we have this board right here to say what jobs there are for the police and how you get them so right now I'm starting out as a police cadet I have to have at least one hour of this job to get police deputy third class after I I get that so the police cadet gets taser and handcuffs same thing as the police deputy third class after that after three hours you get police deputy second class they're supposed to be able to use baton slash pepper sprays so this is like leveling up for what you can use and whatnot after that after six hours you can become a police deputy and you get to use pistols and arresting like you are authorized and are given pistols um, police after that after 18 hours you get police corporal you get to use a shotgun with everything else you're already able to use after 30 hours you can become a police sergeant and use everything that was before you for the next rank you can only get these from promotions so you're gonna get a police lieutenant they're able to use police uh, spike strips um, and everything else afterwards after that you get police captain same thing as everything else afterwards after that this is the police command they're above all else this is the police major he can you know command everybody he gets the same thing as everybody else for these last two jobs you have to get elected and that's the police deputy chief and the police chief you have to get elected for it and a admin or whatnot depending on when this election happens will make you it that's if they do it that way uh, as the board says at the very bottom, some items yet to be implemented, meaning not a lot of these items, uh, probably like the pepper spray, the shotgun, and stuff's in because I haven't seen anybody using it yet. But those are the rank systems and how you get them or how long it takes to become it. We're going to go on down this way. We're going to look at the police station. you got your jail cell going on here. This is where you put your prisoners. If you walk in here, this will tell you as soon as you go in if you have a time or not. Right now I have zero seconds because I haven't done anything and I'm not in jail. You have your little visiting center right here, just uh, visit people and talk to them if they're in jail. We're going to come on over here. This is your booking area. You will make a player stand in front of this. It doesn't matter which way they face, obviously, but they'll stand in front of this. And then you're going to come right over here, and you're going to press F. This will tell you exactly who it is, so it'll give you a player ID. It'll say what you confiscated off them, and it'll charge them. And you'll click a little thing over here that will click charge. And that, that's basically how it works. Obviously, I, there's nobody on the server right now to help show that process, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's just everybody else seems to be on the other servers playing. So that door to my right is just leading to the receptions room, so we're going to ignore that. We're going to take a right right here. The armory, as it says, you must be at least first-class deputy to gain police right, to access police rifle. So right now I cannot open this door as I do not have permission because I'm not the rank for it. We'll go over here. This is leads to the evidence room. Just as you can all tell, it le legit looks like evidence room. So that's that's what I've been calling it, is the evidence room. Pretty sure it's a point. This door right here just leads right over to the cell area and yeah. 
I sadly cannot tell you what the whole point of this part is right here along with the other red squares in certain areas. So we're going to come on over this way. Right here, uh, there's just a little chef out there in line. This is the locker room for all the cops. You can come over to one of these lockers. We're going to choose this one. And you're going to put your uniform on. You're getting yourself on duty. The only way to make a paycheck is if you are wearing your uniform at the time for when the next paycheck comes in. So now that I have my whole outfit on, I should get my paycheck next time it happens. So we'll go on and move down the room. We'll come right here. This room is just a little empty room. I'm not too sure what the plan for it was, but yeah. We'll come right over here. Right here is just a little meeting room for public announcements, like all that stuff. So we'll come on back out here. This just leads down a hallway and the classroom right there for meetings and whatnot for just like police matters. So we'll come right over here. So this tells you how long, what your position is and how long you've been in. Right now I'm a police cadet and I've only been in this position for four minutes. So it's, it hasn't been a long time since I've been this cop. As you all just saw me, I just became it. We're going to move down. You have the police sedan. To get the police sedan, you're supposed to come right here and purchase um, purchase it. But at this moment, it's a little bugged out, so nobody can get it. It should be fixed in the in the next map update when we get the newer map. So we're going to come right over here. You got the gun range. At this moment, um, there is nothing to activate the gun range or just have the things. There is a actual gun store that has a gun range, so if you want to target shooting at it or whatnot, this is how you do it. So we're going to run over this way, all the way down there, all the way down this way will take you back to the evidence room. Sounds like it is raining. That sounds fun. So we're going to come over here. And right outside this door is going to take you to the parking lot. Yeah, so this... Yeah, the rain gets a little loud. So, well, that's how you get the parking lot. So, guys, give me one second, and I'm going to skip on over to where I will be a police major, because that's my actual rank in the game for this job. And I'll show you exactly how the, what the armory looks like and what else you get for that. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So as you can tell right now, I have zero minutes in this time of position and I am a police major now. So now that we have police major, we have a couple more things, like one extra thing we can do because there's not a lot we can get off this board because they haven't been implemented just yet into the game, as the board says. So we're going to come over here, the armory. We look at the door we can go ahead and open it voila and look at that oh my bad it does yep opens up right into this little jail area so we can go close that door we're gonna try to there we go and I just got paid your payment is always gonna be 257 as a police major a police cadet gets paid 6,000 per paycheck so we're gonna come in here this is the the locker room, well, the armory for the higher ups, if you are a lower rank than a police cadet, or, my bad, then a first class deputy, you physically won't be able to go into this room. If this door is even open, if you try to go in here without being above this rank, you won't be able to enter. So you come up to one of these lockers and you're going to get a gun. This gun, you're going to go ahead and put into your primary, secondary, whichever. But we got the gun, as you can tell it has zero ammo and there is nothing to give us, like no matter what I click, there is nothing to give us ammo or mags. Yes the gun may look like it has mags, or the rifle depending on how you, how you guys call it, the rifle or gun does not have the mags. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the gun store real quick, so I will see you guys there. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, I almost forgot that if you need money, you there is a bank right here for you to go into. So we'll go into this bank real quick. We're just going to go to the ATM. We're going to withdraw 9,000. We're going to withdraw 9,000 more. So we withdrew a tiny bit of our money, depending on what you count as a tiny bit. So you press X, close out of this. Right now, as you can tell, we have a good amount. That's a lot of money. 
we're gonna come on over this way the gun store so if you're if you're just starting off the police stations right there you come all the way down this road there's the church we're gonna go right behind the license building over this way to where the gun store is right next to the gun store there is also a ATM so there's your ATM um, so we're gonna hop on in here to uh, get a mag for this rifle also guys now that I before I forget there if you're a police cadet and stuff you're allowed to buy a gun you can have a gun to use, but you have to come here. You can buy whatever gun you can afford. For instance, this case, you could buy yourself a pistol, buy your rounds, buy your mag and stuff, and there you go. You got what you got. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this because we have a actual police rifle. So we're going to click onto here. You're going to buy yourself the mag. And now you're going to buy yourself some ammo. We're going to buy confirm. We're going to buy a little more right here. So you're going to take this ammo, you're going to put it in the mag. You're going to take the mag and put it into the rifle. Then you're going to take some of your ammo and you're going to load it into the chamber of the rifle. Now that we have that, we want another we want another magazine. So we're going to come right here and we're going to buy a second magazine. And we're going to load it into the mag. Now we have ammo in the mag. And yeah. Okay. Alright guys, I am back, so this man has volunteered to be our test. So this is your taser right here, as you can tell. You're able to just look around, do all that. So we are going to tase this man right here. And now he's been tased. So we're going to walk up to him. You're going to press cuff. Now that he's been cuffed, you're going to walk up to him, and you're going to frisk him. We Right now, his gun is legal, so we're not going to actually be able to take it. But now he's been cuffed, and if you're wanting to uncuff... You're just going to click that, and he has been uncuffed. Okay, thank you, man. I just needed to show the example of how to do the cuff and stuff. Since your gun seems to be legal, it actually won't let me frisk it away. So, you know. And for your being nice and putting yourself in this video. You can have a tiny bit of my money there. So, you're welcome. And thank you for being in this video of mine. Thank you. Alright guys, okay. now that I've showed you how to do that, we're going to go ahead and leave the gun store. We're going to move on this way. I'm going to show you, as you just saw in that man's body, he has a bulletproof vest. So we're going to head on this way. Okay, that cop is doing some weird stuff. We're going to head on this way. So right over here, so it's going to be behind... So, we're gonna... so you see... Oh boy, well, we got shot. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. So, uh, as you can see, there's a church right there, and I have died. Yep. Um, we're going to come right over here. There's a Billy's Ballistics. So, from straight from the church, you come over here. If you are wanting yourself some armor, you come over here. You inspect the item. Obviously, I don't got money on me because I died. But you'll take the armor and you'll just drag it here if you have it. If you don't, not enough cash, go to the ATM withdrawal. And to exit out of it, you just click there. If you were not a cop, unlike me, you'd come right over here. You press F to purchase. Oh, I guess I can't purchase it. Never mind. I guess, oh, I'm not in uniform, that's why. So if you're in uniform, you can't actually purchase this box. But if you're out of uniform, you can. Um, well, now I just have it in my hand, but you know. Let's see, can I sit down anywhere? No. But, you know, I have it. There we go. I guess free for anybody to take. But that is basically everything you need to know about being a cop. Uh, if you're wanting to do roleplay scenarios, obviously that's up to you how you do it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please ask away in the comments section. I also ask that you like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching my tutorial.